Morning. We do have Ryan Overton with the Washington State Department of Transportation on the phone with us to talk about road conditions this morning. Good morning, Ryan. A very busy morning for Washdot crews. What's the very latest on uh, the strategy right now to clear the roadways? Good morning. Hey, good morning, Tim. Yeah, it's a, it's been a busy night. Crews have been out uh, since about four o'clock last night pre-treating roadways. And then once the snow started to fall, they've been out all night and throughout the morning. Um, I-90, you know, looking a little slushy this morning. I, I've been watching the traffic cameras very closely. Uh, traffic is moving, but it is slow. It is slushy. So, you know, for folks traveling, be patient this morning. I think that's the uh, the word of the day. Be patient as it is going to uh, take some significant extra travel time to get to your destinations. Uh, but otherwise, you know, we are seeing some compact snow and ice in places. Crews are out. They're treating. Just give them plenty of space. Yeah, Ryan, and I want to ask you about a, a serious crash earlier this morning on I-90 that was involved an STA bus. Have you heard about what happened there? I have not heard at this point uh, what has happened, uh, but, you know, we did see some pretty intense snowfall rates through the overnight hours. I was hearing upwards of an inch an hour, so uh, reduced visibility at times, and the snow uh, accumulated very quickly on the roads. So, again, folks just need to take it easy on the roads. Give our crews plenty of space and uh, just allow for that extra travel time as they head out the door. Yeah, and giving plenty of space. Let's talk about the plows. I just saw that Washdot East tweeted out that uh, Plowy McPlow Plow and Betty Whiteout and Sir Plows a Lot are all out working very hard this morning. Those, of course, are the names of the snow plows. Uh, how are things going right now for the plows and what advice do you have for folks when it comes to giving those plows the space they need? Yeah, for our crews, this is like their Super Bowl. So for them, you know, they take extreme pride in providing this service to the public, getting the roadways clear. So we just ask that the public give them plenty of space. Um, you know, stay back. If you can't see their mirrors, they likely can't see you. With this heavy snowfall that we've seen and these slightly warmer temperatures, this isn't the light snow, fluffy snow that just kind of flies off the side of the plow. This is some thicker, heavier stuff that we're seeing, and it's got a little bit more moisture to it. So if you try to pass a plow on the right, typically the direction that they're moving snow, uh, that is not going to be good for you or your vehicle, um, and it also puts our crews in danger. So please do not pass our plows the direction they're pushing snow. Um, we've had a couple of accidents this year where people have got in the curl of the snow, lost control, and then that's when they've lost control and hit one of our plows. So please give them plenty of space. They're out there for the public's benefit. The road behind the plow is always going to be safer than the road ahead. So please give them plenty of space to do uh, what they need to do to get for, uh, for you to get to where you're going. All right, Ryan Overton with the Washington State Department of Transportation. Thanks so much for your time and thanks for your, what your crews are doing this morning. Thank you.